What's good, YouTube? Dom Steven Sports Cards here, back with another video. Hope you're all doing well. I have two very special VRs for you guys today. The first one from my buddy Drew at The Drew of Vintage Legacy. Drew wanted us to talk about players that never won the big one, never won a World Series. And although the Baseball World Series isn't held over players' greatness as often as it is in basketball or football especially quarterbacks it is a big deal it is the ultimate team accomplishment being able to lead your team to the mountaintop at the end of a marathon of a season and there are a lot of players that have become legends based off postseason performances alone today i have a couple players to talk about the first name that obviously came to mind for me drew i felt a little called out is my favorite player to collect, Carly Stremski. Now, Carly Stremski had a great career. First American League player to have 3,000 hits and over 400 home runs. Won a Triple Crown, MVP, Gold Gloves. Just an amazing player. And he led the Impossible Dream Red Sox to the World Series in 1967, overperforming like crazy. They ended up running into the St. Louis Cardinals that were anchored by Bob Gibson, who was one of the best postseason pitchers that ever lived. Lou Brock ran all over the bases in that World Series. And they had the National League MVP that year in Orlando Cepeda. So they were a really good team that the Red Sox were able to force a Game 7 with. Unfortunately, they were not able to stick it out against Bob Gibson in Game 7. Fast forward a couple of years the early 70s, the Red Sox start getting talent in the form of Carlton Fisk, Dwight Evans, Fred Lynn, Jim Rice, and the team really starts becoming something. 1975, they beat the Oakland A's in the American League Championship Series, and they go to the World Series against, guess who, the Cincinnati Reds, the team of the decade, one of the best teams ever assembled. Joe Morgan, Tony Perez, Johnny Bench, Pete Rose, George Foster, the list goes on and on. Amazing team. And the Red Sox force another Game 7 on what you guys know as the famous Carlton Fisk stay fair, stay fair home run. Aren't able to pull it out in Game 7 against the Reds. And Carly Strzemski had one last chance at making the postseason and making a World Series run in 1978. A lot of people will remember it as the Bucky Dent home run. But that Bucky Dent home run was game changing, not game deciding. It was not a walk off home run. Kari Stremski actually got an opportunity with two outs in the ninth against Goose Gossage to tie the game. And Kari Stremski unfortunately ended up hopping up against Goose Gossage in that at bat. And it really was the last opportunity for him to lead a team to the World Series. He was at the end of his prime, someone that had had an amazing career and was really just compiling the rest of the way. Still an amazing career, still one of my favorite players to collect, but unfortunately did not win the big one. Now the other guy, I've been collecting a lot of his stuff recently, because I do think he will get into the Hall of Fame someday, and it's not just because of his name, he had a hell of a career. Tommy John has over 280 wins, four-time All-Star, and because of that famous surgery that's named after him, he got to pitch 26 years in the big leagues. That's a lot of years, and to not win a World Series is pretty crazy, but he came close a few times. Now, in the late 70s, he was on the Los Angeles Dodgers, and back-to-back -back years, 77 and 78, the year the Red Sox let the Yankees into the postseason, Tommy John's Dodgers lost to the Yankees in the World Series. Reggie Jackson and those late 70s Yankees were able to defeat them. Fast forward to the early 80s. If you can't beat them, join them. Tommy John joins the Yankees and in 1981 makes it to the World Series with the Yankees and guess who he loses to? Kirk Gibson and the Los Angeles Dodgers. You can't make this stuff up. I thought that was pretty funny to read it. Uh, Tommy John pitched very well in the postseason. Uh, he wasn't as good of a postseason hitter as Yaz was. Yaz hit 369 in the playoffs, but a 2-6 ERA, 6-3 in the postseason. Tommy John did his thing. 
but was not able to win a championship despite those opportunities and 26 seasons in the big leagues. So those are my two guys for your VR, Drew. I hope you enjoyed that. Now is a transition to Rick at Vintage Oddball Cards VR. I have a card that kind of fits under both. And this is a player that never won a World Series and a card that is absolutely a beater. Rick wanted us to show our shoebox, bike spoke, just ripped up cards. And this Tony Oliva Rookie Cup card definitely fits the bill. Has creases all over. None of the corners are left. It's got ink marks on both sides. Creased all the way through. Crazy edge wear at the top there. An amazing card of a future Hall of Famer. Didn't win a World Series, but definitely an awesome card that I was stoked to find in a dollar bin back in the day. And now to make up for Drew having us talk about the players that weren't able to win it all and Rick prioritizing the best cards and players to the front for his contest, we have a couple goats that I have that are really beat up. This one being from my good friend B. Roth, Brian, who had this in a live sale for $5. And at first you're like a Willie Mays playing days card for $5. You stole that thing. Well, that corner was definitely thrown at a wall or put in bike spokes or both. It is creased all crazy. And you're like, well, at least there's no writing or paper loss. But wait, there's more. On the back, some kid decided to make all kinds of circles. And at first I thought maybe he was trying to play a game or maybe he was trying to circle certain stats or write something out, but nothing about this has a pattern or legible. I studied it. It is just a creased up, drawn on one of the worst Willie Mays you'll ever see. But I'm still stoked to have it. Willie Mays is still with us, thank God. Uh, but his cards are only going to go up over the years. And being able to get a playing days one for five bucks, even in this condition, I couldn't say no. So Rick, I know you're a big Willie Mays fan. He obviously won a World Series with the Giants and helped the Mets get to one as well. Great player and a great beater card. Now this last one that I wanted to show is my first Mantle card. I got into vintage cards when I was 12, 13 years old and didn't have a big budget. It was hard to get stuff. I have a lot of beater commons, but... A card and a player that I always wanted was Nicky Mantle. Growing up here in the Northeast, he is even more of a legend than he already is in our hobby. And I'd see them at card shows with astronomical, to me, price tags on them. And then one came into my LCS and nobody wanted it. It had a $50 price tag on it. And if you look at the card, it's not that bad. But... Despite the corner wear, the tiny surface wrinkles, and this rip right here in the card, there is a big piece of paper missing. Now, this is going to turn off a lot of people because if they have paper loss, that's usually an out for some people, especially on the front. But to me, it wasn't on the player, and it didn't go all the way through the card. It wasn't a gash. It was straight paper loss. And I'm still stoked to own this card. A beater card doesn't always have to look like that to get a one or an authentic. It can have another problem where the rest of the card is not in great shape, but still looks pretty dang good. And Mantle obviously... World Series records, all the championships with the Yankees, the golden boy, the goat of our vintage hobby. He is amazing as well. So happy that I could share the story on my first vintage mantle here, show some beater cards. And whether they won a World Series or not, it's still great to collect them. Drew, 
Rick. Hope you guys enjoyed the combination of your VRs here. Obviously, if you're listening to this video, I'd assume that you already subscribed to Drew and Rick. But if not, I will leave links to their channel in the description. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. Keep collecting.